Woohoo! Alright, I'm excited today, guys and girls, because today I get my Christmas gift. So here it is. Let's see what it is. Let me get my knife out. I got a Christmas gift. I don't know what it is yet. Oh, yeah, I remember what it is. I think I ordered it. I got enough money this year, for Christmas, to buy myself a gift. Which was. get myself ah, one of these. Ta-da! It's an oscilloscope. Yes! It is actually a 250 megahertz. It's a hand tech uh, model DSO-5200A. What was that? So, today I'm going to unbox this and show you what, the, uh, what this is all about. Some of you don't even know what an oscilloscope is. Most of you who watch my videos do. But basically it'll tell me what's going on with the signals that I'm sending my coils and getting back and, and uh, everything else. I can actually see how fast my pulse motors are running now. Hopefully they're running faster than I think. Hopefully they're not running at like 2000 RPM. That would be horrible. Alright, so let's do this thing. Get my camera set up. There it is. All right. Ooh. Yeah, that'll. Got to find a home for that. Ta da! Ah. Yes. All right. I'm super excited. This is what's in the box. I get a cable. It's actually got... That's interesting. Check that out. It's actually got two USB ports. Because it needs its own... It uses the power up the USB port. So it's got two USB. Probably for the power and one for signal. Probably both for power, but... I'm sure one's just for signal. And I got a uh, 250 megahertz... Probe. It's got 10 times X on it. Nice clip end. Oh, it's a pretty nice clip end. And uh, the ground lead, or wherever you want to connect it. Looks like it pops off here. Very nice. And I believe the other one comes with two, is underneath this box. Yep, with the instructions and the software. So there you go. I'm excited. Let's get started. I'll be back once I get this hooked up. Alright, it works. I got it hooked up. There it is. It's hooked up to one probe. <clears throat> On my pulse width modulator, I've got an output here. And I can connect um, an external source up to my pulse width modulator. Otherwise, the output to the uh, MOSFET is here. So I got it hooked up to this. This is uh, this is a a pulse width modulator from uh, an experiment, an HHO project a long time ago, and uh, forgot the, night, the guy's name. But uh, it's supposed to have a gating on it so that it can uh, ring. And uh, this is the gating switch. Uh, this is supposed to be the frequency. This is supposed to be the amplitude, um, but it kind of does some funny stuff, which that's fine. I never knew it until I could get this, so here you go. Um, I'm out of battery. Time out. Alright, so there's what it looks like. Um, again, I can adjust the, uh, this is supposed to be the amplitude, I believe. And then this is supposed to be the frequency. If I get rid of this light, it'll be easier to see. How's that? And then, so basically, there's what you got. And then, uh, if I turn the gating on, you can see what happens. And I can adjust how frequent, uh, or how, the, the frequency of the gating. And then, I can also, I believe I can adjust the amplitude.
I've got different switches here for different frequencies and uh, I'd have to let this thing calibrate. It's been a while since I've used an oscilloscope so I gotta get used to this thing again. But uh, I'll turn the gating back off and I'll put this on a high frequency. There you go. So I can adjust the frequency. Uh, I can come over here with my buttons and adjust the uh, time. So there is, let's just put it on 10 nanoseconds. That's pretty fast. Let's do 100. So if these divisions are 100 nanoseconds, looks like, you know, well, let's do it again, 10 nanoseconds, and I can get this set just right, you can see what it looks like. So that's pretty good, it's pretty fast, again if I turn on my gating. And now I'm too close to really see it, but you can see it gating. And it's not perfect. It's not going to be. I'm on 2 volts per division. So it looks like about 2, 4, 4 and a quarter. Not quite. 5. But there you go. i got to learn how to use this thing now. It's been a while since I've used one. So uh, there you go. Merry Christmas to me. That's exciting. I need one pretty bad. So that I can uh, tell you fine folks what in the world's going on with my projects. So expect more detailed information now that I've got my O-scope. Um, I contacted Richard, HHO for Volts, and he's got this exact one for his setup. It's uh, probably plenty fast for anything I'll ever need, but if I ever did want one that's faster, I've got a pretty good one already. So should be no questions. Uh, everyone, take care. Um, lots of stuff going on. It's going to come be slowing down. i got a lot of other house projects to take care of. And uh, more Infinity Motor generator things. I'm working on that and some other stuff. Thanks for watching.